is everybody doing? Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to my newest Build-A-Box opening. This one is, uh, I've, I've been in the works with this one for a little while. 2020 Flawless Collegiate Football Build-A-Box. So this is basically uh, a box that, it, it's like a pretty much a 2020 Flawless Collegiate Hobby Box that I built myself off of eBay, kind of to show you guys that you can make a really good, you know, box for like a fraction of the cost. Lately, these have been selling for, here's the most recent price. That was the most recent price of a flawless 2020 collegiate football hobby box, $2,500. And I will tell you, I built mine for quite a bit less than that. Typically, it's around $1,800. I saw prices from $1,500 to $2,500. So that's just the most recent on eBay. I thought that was crazy. Uh, so I'll show you what I got. Uh, this one was fun. I've kind of had it to the side for a while, uh, but I actually went and got a case. So I ordered this from eBay and incorporated that into my cost as well. You know, it's the really cool, flawless, uh, let's see if I can get my light to, eh, whatever. Flawless 2020 case. It's got the, uh, the locks and everything, so... You know, the locks right there. I can't zoom out too much, but it's uh, it's got it all. So I thought it would be a lot of fun. Uh, I've done the Build-A-Box for Elements before, and that went over pretty well. I mean, people seem to enjoy it. So it does have its own set of keys. So here, I'll, sh I'll show you. So you actually have to unlock it, which I thought was kind of funny. So you got to unlock both sides. And... Uh, the lock actually works, which is also kind of ironic. I thought it would just be a fake one or something. So there we go. It is unlocked. We got the keys in the back. Uh, obviously, I know everything that's inside of here because I built it off of cards I bought off eBay. Um, also, this is probably going to be less than the normal hobby box or like cards that aren't going to be as great because obviously when you're buying a hobby box, it is completely random from Panini. So you really, I mean, this one is going to be Lower valued because I was trying to make it pretty low valued. So take that as you want, but also realize that you can get cards online for way cheaper if you buy singles than buying a complete box 95% of the time. I mean, unless you hit big. Uh, I mean, I could have even got like a really nice Justin Herbert and it still would have been way less than 2500 bucks. Uh, especially since it's collegiate. But without further ado, let's get to it. Oh, I guess one more thing. Here's what's going to be inside. Six autographs, two memorabilia cards, two gem cards. So here we go, guys. The magical moment. Flipping open the seal. And there we go. We have our initial cards. That is, uh, this is how it comes, typically. Usually, of course, I didn't. That's the only thing. Um, usually, you got the diamond guarantee uh, agreement. You got the keys. And uh, basically, this this guarantees that uh, that company is guaranteed the uh, the diamond and the gems within these two cards right here. So I thought this was pretty cool. They did send it with the case, which I was pretty happy about. So we're gonna throw that to the side. The only thing I didn't have was a box for flawless. So I used an immaculate one because I figured why not. So here are the gem cards I got. I have a Van Jefferson. I'll go over all the cards first, and then we'll go over the pricing. So Van Jefferson, diamond card, 15 out of 20. These come encased in, with the flawless sticker. Pretty sweet. Diamond is guaranteed by Panini America. In his Gators uniform, 15 out of 20. Beautiful card. This one is kind of what got me started. I got a really good deal on this. And I was like, you know what? I, I figure I could do a, a, you know, build a box of flawless. David Montgomery in his Iowa State jersey, the emerald, you can tell the, the peril, or you can tell the gem by the color pretty much, uh, diamond is, you know, gold, and then they have like the one of one, which I believe is like white, and then they have the, uh, the green for emerald, five out of five. I actually have the out of 20, which I didn't include in this too, so, uh, but the emerald is guaranteed, 
got the sticker. I did not get one that would usually go here, so this is where my my lot is going to be a little bit less, because uh, usually you have the sticker on the card here, and this is a pretty decent hit. This one is a Keyshawn Vaughn, 5 out of 25, flawless, on-card auto. It did come in a one-touch, though, so that is kind of why I put it there. I thought, you know, why not? Uh, but really cool Keyshawn Vaughn, RPA. Got a cool logo going on there as well. I really enjoy how they put the the college symbol right above, right under the flawless. And you'll see what I mean in some of the other ones. So those are the first three cards. There's seven more cards uh, all in here in this immaculate box that I had. Of course, immaculate 2015 doesn't really fit in. But uh, here we go. So I'm going to take them out of here. I'm going to... Set them all, let's see, I'm going to set them over here. All right, and I'm going to set them on two, let's see, I'll set them on this side. All right, so the first one up is a Colin Johnson, flawless, 24 out of 25, Chunky patches, really cool patch card. This is going to be one of two of the patch cards. So I thought that this one was pretty sweet. University of Texas, Colin Johnson, numbered out of 25. Really nice looking card. The second one I got, I think it was my second card after that Dave Montgomery I got. And it's just because he was following me around during the season. Albert O, flawless RPA, on card auto. Just beautiful. And so you can see the Mizzou sign up there. I just think it's really cool how they do that. But uh, So 7 of 20, Alberto, Chunky Patch from Mizzou. Beautiful looking card. Again, I thought it just looked really cool. Of course, I had to unsleeve all these and everything, so I had to be careful doing that. The third one was a pretty sweet deal I got. It is a veteran auto. Of Christian Kirk, the uh, Carol or not Carolina, Arizona Cardinals wide receiver, seven of twenty-five. Christian Kirk on card auto, dual patch. Again, really, really, just love the look of flawless cards. Really nice. Here we go. We have a Kalijah Lipscomb. RPA, flawless, 11 out of 15. Again, there's the uh, the V right there. Pretty cool card. Not bad. Vanderbilt, I guess I got two Vanderbilt guys with uh, Keyshawn and uh, him. 11 of 15, chunky. We've got the huge S on the patch, on card auto again. Gonna keep it rolling. We have this one, and this one I'll explain a little bit. We have a LaVisca Chenault Jr. It does have a little ding in the upper corner, and so I did get it cheaper because of that. Uh, but 6 of 25, this guy actually had a pretty decent rookie season from Colorado. So multicolored, chunky patch. Got the uh, the cool bison up there in the, in the logo. Not bad on Cardado again, even though it looks like, you know... I did that signature, but <laughs> my handwriting's not good for, for those that know me. Uh, but we got two more cards. Second to last is a Jared Pinkney. Wow, I was just going after all these Vanderbilt guys, apparently. Uh, Jared Pinkney, 9 of 15, flawless on card auto again. Again, you guys know that these are not going to be like the typical box. It is it is the same assortment that will come in a box at a greatly reduced price. Uh, and I just kind of thought it would be kind of fun. So 9 of 15. Jared Pinckney, another random RPA. And then the last one was another really nice looking card that I got a decent deal on. We have Eno Benjamin, who is also a Cardinal, I believe. Three of 15. He was a Minnesota Golden Gopher. Or no, no, he wasn't. No, no, no. I'm thinking about Tyler Johnson. He's an Arizona State University person. Man, they have the same color. And that just tricked me with that patch right there. No, no, no. Not a Gopher. Although I almost got a Tyler Johnson, probably should have, because I picked up most of these a couple months ago. Missed out there. But Eno Benjamin, 3 of 15. Really nice patch. Really cool card. We'll see what the future holds for him. So that was my box. That was my Build-A-Box. And so, really, I mean, I thought it was a pretty sweet, pretty sweet box. 
Uh, obviously for a fraction of the cost, but let's get to the cost. So we bought the case, and of course I'm going to include that in the cost. It was $8.50 plus $15 shipping, so this was actually one of the most expensive things I got, was the case itself. The David Montgomery was fifteen fifty one plus four bucks shipping or three ninety, and this was probably the best deal I got. Five out of five, the gem card. I thought that was a steal. Uh, the one I got out of twenty was, I think, even more expensive. Uh, Van Jefferson, the other gem card, was ten forty nine plus five dollars shipping. Not bad. This Keyshawn Vaughn that you see up front, that was eleven forty nine plus four ten shipping. The Colin Johnson Texas card, first card I showed, was six fifty plus three shipping. The Albert O RPA was fifteen twenty one plus four twenty five shipping. And then we have oh, you guys saw the bottom already. Christian Kirk was ten twenty one plus four shipping. Kalijah Lipscomb was seven fifty plus four twenty shipping. And then Chanel was fifteen fifty three fifty shipping. Pinkney was eight fifty three seventy five shipping. Eno Benjamin was four twenty five and three twenty five shipping. So that comes down to a total cost hundred and thirteen and sixty six cents. People are paying, and then of course shipping is a lot. Fifty three ninety four for shipping, just because it was individual cards. That is a total cost to me. All cards, all case include or the case included, of one hundred sixty seven dollars and sixty cents. So this is probably going to be the most expensive build a box that I do, at you know, one hundred sixty seven dollars and sixty cents. But how about that? The most recent one sold for $2,500. And even if you pull, uh, you know, I, I saw a Justin Herbert jersey card go, I mean, they're typically around, I think, 150 If you pull a Justin Herbert jersey card and a really nice flawless auto, you make, you know, 200 bucks off that, you still get nowhere close to that. You're hoping to pull a, a Herbert RPA, a Joe Burrow RPA. I, you got to hope for the high end stuff. Uh, the a, a gem card of one of the top quarterbacks because it is very, very difficult to hit those numbers. But this, this is just a video to show you guys what you can get on a budget. I mean, even, and that was a pretty big budget for me, higher than typical, but I thought it was going to be a fun box. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So drop a comment down below if you enjoy the build a box series. I don't do these often. So this is my second one. I did uh, 2020 elements as well. And that one was pretty fun, a little bit cheaper. I think my budget was like 40, 50 bucks or something like that. So uh, we'll see what you guys think. Drop a comment down below. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.